after B Tech what? This is the obvious question. And the first answer comes is that GATE. Yes, GATE 2019 results are declared. And you are watching GATE Toppers Talk. Today with me is Mr. Jayesh Atre. He has secured All India Rank 5 in Civil Engineering category in GATE 2019. His normalized marks are 83.13 and the score is 971 out of 1000. He has done BTEC from IIT Delhi, passed out in 2018. He belongs to Seeker Rajasthan. First of all, Jayesh, uh, welcome to the MADG studio and congratulations when best wishes for your upcoming mains exam, civil services and engineering services. Uh, Jayesh, when you started your preparation first time? Sir, actually, I started my preparations in the month of August. 10th okay. of August to be precise. Right. So that's the date my, when I first started. started. Yeah. When I first. So just only four five months preparation of GATE and IES. Yes, sir. That's all I did. <laughs> okay. So in four to five months of preparation, you have achieved rank five. There must be something different strategy in your study which you want to share with the students. Sir, basically what students do is that they constantly get demotivated mm -hmm. that I have very less time left and you know, mm -hmm. things can't be done. Mm -hmm. The only key is to keep yourself motivated that right. you know, it can be achieved. Mm -hmm. So I believe that nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to study for 12 or 16 hours a day, right. you have to do it, but it can be achieved. Right. So basically it's a self motivation and a right type of the planning. What was your uh, schedule per day? How many hours at home at college you used to study? Sir, uh, when I was in college, I I was an average student. Okay. I didn't study much. Right. Even and after passing out, for how many hours you used to study at home? Sir, at home, I didn't get much much time. Uh, two to three hours, I used to revise what I learned mm -hmm. in the classes. That's, That's what I did. So basically, uh, this what matters is the approach of your study. Right. And when you talked about you wanted to develop some app and that was your project which you was doing and you are very involved. So what is that project and how uh, you got motivated to work on software field? Sir, actually the thing which tagged me was that these days we are using OMR technique. Right. So that is, that was invented sometime in the 1970s since right. that we are using. But, but that is only for objective. For objective things. So I wanted something along that line for subjective answers, right. answer sheets. Right. So that I thought will be a major breakthrough hmm. and maybe in future I'll you think will of working it. on it. Yeah. Right. So my best wishes are with you and you it so will much, be sir. a great help for subjective exams of civil services, engineering services, mains exam, if answer sheets can be evaluated by through the some OMR. Yes, sir. Actually, two things it will cater to. It will ensure that, you know, all are just on the same parameter because mm. then relativity will be minimized. Different examiners don't have to go through it. Mm. And results can also be announced early right. because it, the time which is consumed in evaluation that will also be reduced. Right, right. Uh, when you used to appear in the test, what were your observation about the uh, interface and the level of difficulty and what was the role of the practicing and which helped you in the actual exam? Sir, first what I focused after ESC prelims, I completed the previous year question papers right. and then I just focused on the test series. Right. So I used to give the tests and the only thing which I focused was that I have to improvise my score from the right. last time right. which I scored and that's what kept me driving and I fared well in the test series also. <laughs> what was your rank in test and how it was different from your actual test? Sir, uh, in test also I secured under 10. Right. So I was quite hopeful and uh, there was one thing I used to score uh, better in the advanced level uh, tests which were conducted by me ADZ. Hmm. More, much more than what I used to score in the basic right. level exam. So in the advanced level tests you can score better? Yes sir, I scored around 80, 85 80. marks in the advanced level and test. same around 80, 85 you yes, got. Sir, that's what I got. So I found that the level of test which made easy had and which was asked in gate was quite exactly similar. Same. Yeah, exactly same. And the interface was also exactly same. So that also helped me a lot. A student faced a lot of difficulty in application of the virtual calculator. Hmm. So you also face difficulty or your practice of the test series helped? Yes, sir. The practice of test series helped me a lot. Actually, one advice that I would like to give to students is to use the memory function mm. uh, accurately. So that helps in making your calculation quite accurate. Mm. So if you want to divide something, then you can store it temporarily in the memory and then you can reuse it 
you know quickly hmm. so that saves your time you don't have to write it down jot it down on a piece of paper right so that memory thing comes quite handy one problem which students normally face is that last one month is left and there is a lot of pressure of revision in this scenario did you made any kind of short notes which helped you or something different you did which helped you no sir i never focused on preparing any short notes that's that's the that's not that was not my so strategy so you underlined the or you yes sir i went, actually list. i made a seven day strategy hmm. so within seven days i divided you know two subjects per day i have to revise or three subjects per day that depends on the size of the subject right, right. and that's how i divided the entire so syllabus into close, seven days open yeah, and close open and close <laughs> open and close that's what i used to follow. open the page and close the last page eh? yes sir <laughs> so this is a fire fighting type of this when seven days and or 15 subjects so almost two to three subjects have to be done yes sir day. mathematics soil mechanics environmental engineering highway and reasoning these are the five areas which give around 60% weightage in the gate yes sir so what is your opinion all the subjects with full flavors students should prepare or they can be selective yes sir actually students should focus on you know maximizing their coverage if they want to score better right. so because you never know yeah, which is going to be you never know tough. what what they are going to ask and you can't expect anything so right. whatever is mentioned in the syllabus you should prepare everything right so students i think if you are preparing and you have sufficient time go for the entire syllabus because gate is not that ki every time you can predict the same sometime questions are difficult sometime is sometime maybe more environmental engineering sometime maybe more soil mechanics so everything and everywhere you have to prepare right and gate and ie has both exams you have written yes sir so what is similarity in both and what is difference in both sir actually ies test you on the you know more conventional kind of a thing that you know but gates gate you know uh, test you on the basis of a conceptual clarity mm. i mean how clear are your concepts so that's the difference that i found right so concepts and accuracy that is gate and width wise ies that's ies right syllabus wise ies right so this was the discussion with jayes and in last what message you would like to give to the aspirants of gate 2020 who are preparing i would just like to say that don't get disheartened even if you don't fare well in a few tests just keep yourself motivated be in good company who keeps you motivated my roommate has been a constant source of motivation for me and my family members especially my mom and my grandparents maternal grandparents to be precise have been a constant source of motivation for me so just be in touch with people who keep you motivated that's how you can fare well in exams so keep yourself motivated that is important and uh, the last 2 3 months of preparation to be full of energy and full of dedication and also don't make mistakes exam has to be the best of accuracy right so best wishes for your engineering services result Thank you and so congratulations much, and i wish you ki once again after ief result you come on the same seat and securing a top rank and again i take interview of this thank you so much sir thank you so much